Now to today's weather. Let's get to Grant. You should celebrate too. That was one of the greatest things you've ever done. Fantastic, mate. Well done. Right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to wear this suit for a week. In fact, when I get on the plane back to Sydney this afternoon, I'm still going to be wearing it. That won't freak anybody out, will it? Get on a plane with a parachute on. Oh, can I just say, just take a look at the shots from the air. Excuse me at my voice. I've nearly lost it. Just was screaming on the way down. But have a look at filming the filming. That's when you get a great sense of how many people it's taken to put this thing together, whether it be link operators and technicians and camera people, pilots, skydive professionals. Just awesome to pull this thing off. It looked amazing to be a part of. It looked amazing on camera. It felt amazing. If that doesn't motivate you to come and try skydiving yourself, you are nuts. Uh, I'm going to bring in our little guru S <laughs> photographer um, who filmed a lot of that. Now, Koshi picked it up, I think. Was it? Was there trouble with your suit? You shoot? Just a little bit. I had some twists, and I didn't think they were going to come out, so I thought I might have to just have to jettison it. But Fair as it happened, so it what turned happened? out okay what? in the end. So it jettison. came out, and it was it was, it was twisted. Yeah, some twists in the lines. So obviously I can't fly it like that. So I needed to get them out, and that took a bit of effort. Oh, so you nearly had to make the big call. I nearly did. I thought about it. How did you get it out? <laughs> Uh, kicking my legs like crazy. So you try and twist your way out of it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like an egg beat. Thank God that didn't happen to me. <laughs> I don't know, well, uh, yes. How does Lisa, we saw that her going around you. How does she manoeuvre her body? Does she sort of drop shoulders or how do you fly like how, that? How do you actually fly around us? What gives you the manoeuvrability physically? Is it is it your arms, your legs? Arms, legs, my wings. Just uh, yeah, I guess that's what you learn when you start to skydive. Mm. You, you learn that from your very first. How many jump. jumps does it take before you can kind of get that control? Uh, about a hundred, maybe. Not that many. A hundred? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> to, do, to do what I do, yeah. yeah. But, but to, you learn your control from your first jump, very where, first jump. Where's the freak <laughs> machine that I jumped with? There he is. Yeah, <laughs> Belgy. Sweet. I've never been so close to another man like that before in my life, but thank goodness I was. Uh, that was just uh, absolutely epic. I might take a look at the national forecast for the final time from right here, Ground Zero. Sunrise Weather, brought to you by the half price sale at Beacon Lighting, where your second pendant lamp or outdoor light is half price. Unseasonably warm northerly winds are affecting inland parts of South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland ahead of a trough. The trough is causing a few storms over the interior at the moment while a front brings some light rain to Tasmania. Fine and 30 for Brisbane, 27 are mostly sunny for Sydney. <coughs> Just hanging in there. Fog and sunshine for Canberra in 27. Melbourne some early showers clearing in 26. Hobart possible rain in 22. Adelaide mostly sunny in 26. Showers in 26 for Perth and Darwin and the chance of some showers this afternoon and 33. Steph, come on in. <laughs> First we've got, uh, what's this? Well, uh, I know, Grant, that you were very keen to go for a jump on your own bat and do a solo when we first started talking to Sunrise about this story. So on behalf of the Australian Parachute Federation, I'd like to offer you this certificate. Oh, thank you. It entitles you to your first jump course. To go, to go solo. I'm going solo. I'm going solo. Um, that actually, that's actually got me thinking. I wonder what we could do. There we are. Now, look, uh, obviously, we like to push the envelope doing the weather. We always try and give you a holiday every half an hour and do things that nobody else has ever done. So, the quest is out there. How far could we push it? Who knows? It's all in the name of entertainment. We hope you've enjoyed what the boys have all put together. Big thank you to Trent Miller and a lot of the, and Zuma and the team who've technically put this uh, achievement together because it was a feat. But well done, everybody. Yeah. Well done. It's a great morning. Yeah. And well done to you for organising oh, the best weather possible. That was great. <laughs> um, so the, the ideas of solo man, the ideas have started flowing in. Uh, someone wants you to go to the stratosphere. Uh, we're working on that. Uh, Vicky wants you to go, or all of us yes. to go, to the back of a working trawler out at sea. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. The Remember the deadly, deadliest yeah. catch? When Koshi and I first started doing Sunrise back in the dark ages, there was a bunch of trawler boys that used to send us prawns, prawns. all the way from Cairns, wasn't it? Somewhere a long way away. You could skydive into a trawler. <laughs> wow.
Is this an idea? Is this an idea? She's putting it out there. Yeah, no, keep the ideas coming while you're pumped. Well, thanks, Grant. That was incredible. That was fantastic. Good idea, I'm glad you enjoyed it. After the break, is the week.